Faced with a $58 billion deficit, the 2009 budget was never going to be easy for the Rudd government. Amongst the losers, university students. Um, I think the, the tertiary sector, the university sector, has been crying out for funds. The budget revealed this month has significantly cut funding for university students. The government aims to save $1.8 billion by tightening the criteria of the youth allowance eligibility. Obviously that's a, that's a cost-saving measure. I mean, there's going to be a lot more cost-saving measures required in the future as the government has to find funds to cover the, the deficit. From 2010, university students will be required to work 30 hours a week for 18 months before they can qualify for Centrelink assistance. Too much for many students. I struggle to do about six or seven hours a week. I tried to work 24 hours a week, 20, yeah, 26 hours a week up until recently and I found myself very overwhelmed. I 15 the most, but with all the assignments you just won't have enough time. The new criteria is double that used in 2009, where students were required to work 15 hours a week or earn $19,000. Treasurer Wayne Swan defended the changes to the new criteria. The hardest decision that we had to make was to have the resolve and the courage to make these savings for the future. While students will miss out, the Education Investment Fund will continue giving money to infrastructure projects at schools and universities. Laura Hunt reporting for Griffith University. Australia enters a period of smoking intolerance. Smokers continue to play ignorant to the rules and regulations. Smoking in public places is an ongoing issue of debate and Griffith University is no exception. Non-smoking areas are signed around the campus and the rules are outlined on the university website. There's no smoking within five metres of building entrances. Air intakes, they're the grills on the exteriors of building where the air conditioning comes through, or within university uh, vehicles. Students are aware of the rules but display blatant disregard for their enforcement. We know that but like no one cares because you hardly see any security in the university, they just sit over there. No smoking police as such. Um, some people think it's up to security but it isn't. It's really a peer pressure issue. Even a small amount of exposure to tobacco smoke is harmful to people's health. It's not only the smoke and the respiratory issues, um, there's also the litter and the butts and, the, and everything else as well. For some, it just comes down to laziness. Sometimes you just can't be bothered walking all the way somewhere else, but you just have to do what you have to do. We try and remove the ashtrays away from those areas, but we're fighting a losing battle. Even though the rules and regulations about smoking are clearly outlined around the university, the health and comfort of non-smokers continues to be disrupted. Samantha Crow, Griffith University News. Griffith University is giving journalism and multimedia students the chance to work in a professional environment. They are currently working on the production of the Gold Coast Titans online show called Titans TV. Today I'm on the sound at the moment, so that concentrate pretty much on getting the sound levels right for the panel. Um, at the moment I'll be on the uh, one of the main cameras who follow some presenter around and basically as the teleprompter will, will prompt the guys on the panel here today. Five students were selected to work behind the scenes gaining professional skills and experience. I do game day reporting, um, that's my major role for Titans TV, but I also come back to the editing suites and we edit packages together, yeah. and then just on Tuesday nights <laughs> I run an auto queue. Sarah Lindley is the only female currently working on the project. Yeah, I am. I'm with a bunch of boys, but that's okay. It's fun. They pick on me, but it's okay. University authorities are also involved and committed to the success of the project and ongoing future. It's a great opportunity for students to get some real-world experience producing a weekly uh, program, TV program, that's broadcast over the internet. And so a lot of Titans fans watch it and we get some interesting feedback about you know, what the students have been up to. Oh, I think so. I think it's a great, uh, great experience for all, all concerned, uh, even for myself. Famous personalities are playing an important role in Titans TV.